I am Bisham Ramlau. Um, I am a GIS uh, specialist. I've been involved in GIS and, and, and GIS work for the last um, 20 years or so. Um, I've been teaching courses in GIS and doing um, quite a bit of uh, consulting work, training, and other things associated with GIS for uh, that period of time. I've been attached to the UE for about uh, 23 years now and very much involved in GIS work um, at the national level and the regional level. For me, um, open data is, is, is key for many of our stakeholders. Um, when you think in, in terms of doing research, if you don't have appropriate data, then it's, it's hardly likely that you'd be successful in getting any kind of results that are really reflective of the reality. And um, producing data, whether it's spatial data or any kind of data needed to do good research, is a very expensive business. About 90% of all data that we have is spatial in nature. So um, spatial data collection is very expensive. Uh, so that so that really we can't uh, ask academics who simply cannot afford to expend that kind of resources to um, to collect and, and to develop their own data sets. So we have to depend on other stakeholders, and especially government agencies. Um, government agencies collect a lot of data in their normal operations. So for example, uh, if you're at a central statistical office, you're going to collect uh, socioeconomic data as part of your mandate. And, and therefore, um, it is not like they are going to be put um, into additional expense to share that data with researchers especially, and in fact with the general public. So for me, if taxpayers' money would, would have been spent on collecting data in the first place, then that data should be openly available to the taxpayers. Um, there are a lot of benefits to that. In addition to um, people knowing what is happening and understanding what is happening, it, it, it provides them with the possibility of innovating, of, of perhaps setting up a startup and, 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 and actually making some kind of business where you add value to these data sets. And that uh, leads to further business and of course um, you know once you have business you have taxation and therefore you can have your economy benefiting from making data freely available to all stakeholders. So my presentation will deal with the, the evolution of um, geographic information systems in Trinidad and Tobago um, and I will focus on the evolution, especially in the in the public sector, where we look at uh, what agencies have, have, have gotten into GIS development, what kinds of data sets are available from them, and what are some of the major hurdles in making that data uh, open and making it accessible to stakeholders. I will then uh, spend some time looking at what is required, what what kinds of policies, what kinds of standards and other, other issues that are associated with spatial data in Trent Tobago. A growth area for us would be the development of web portals. Um, and we see that as a, a very important um, avenue for sharing data. So these are some of the things that I will talk about with respect to UE's contribution. And then um, I will make some recommendations on a way forward. So the paper, therefore, will give, give a, a, an overview of, of GIS development in Trent Tobago. We'll talk about UE's contribution in that development, and then we would look to the future to see what we can continue to do to make data available to stakeholders. Hi, I am Bisham Ramlal, lecturer in GIS at the University of the West Indies. I look forward to seeing you at the Caribbean Open Day Conference and Code Sprint here on campus.